This is the Nokia 110 4G. It is a feature phone released by Nokia pretty recently. Uh, it was either this year or last year or perhaps 2021. I'm not exactly sure on that. Let's just get straight into review. Is this the best feature phone, or as some people call them, dumb phone, available on the market? I've actually been using this phone as sort of my daily phone uh, for various reasons for the past uh, few days or so, and I can give my honest review here. So it has a 1.8 inch display. Yes, that's right. You don't say that words very much to you anymore, that is. It's, um, I don't even know what the resolution is. It's nothing, not really that that matters, given this is a, uh, a feature phone here, and feature phones are not known for being top of the line in that sense. It has uh, 128 megabytes internal storage with 48 megabytes of RAM. Yes, it's, um, you won't be playing any games. Well, actually, you will. You, you will be playing Snake for free. And uh, if you want to buy some games like Tetris, they do also run, but it certainly won't be Tetris uh, like you have on uh, any Nintendo. It runs on Nokia Series 30 Plus operating system. Again, yeah. It weighs uh, 84.5 grams, so it's pretty light, if I'm being honest. It has a pretty solid plastic build quality here. It charges using... Micro USB, like, actually, I found that to be like most low-budget smartphones, actually, that I've reviewed here on the channel. They are all still using uh, micro USB and not USB-C, so don't worry, it does come with its own charger. And, you know, it actually has a camera on the back. Can you believe it? It actually has a camera. It can take pictures and video, although let me just say... You won't be taking any pictures or video, to put it that way. I don't know how many megapixels. I'm guessing it probably only has, like, micro-pixel, a little micro-pixel camera. It does have a torch. It has some basic games, as I mentioned earlier. A calculator. A calendar. Even the basic Opera mini browser. Although, I mean, again, you will not be using it. As I said, it is 4G capable, so even with the coming 3G shutdown, you will still be able to use it. And it has an FM radio and an MP3 player. Didn't think I'd be saying that term again. Um, but honestly, I mean, a pretty impressive thing is that it does have a headphone jack, obviously, so you can't listen to those. And I mean, this is really the great thing about this phone. It has... 14 days battery on standby. If you have it on, it's 36 hours and over 5 hours of talk time. But really, that, that 14 uh, days uh, standby battery is not something that you can say about anything that isn't a feature phone. Is it the best? Well, it's that's always a debatable thing to say. I've not really had that much experience with any other modern 4G uh, phones of this type. But based on my experience, and I, I have owned and used back in the olden days, the, the early 2010s, and the, when I was also uh, actually having a, a, a phone like this for more daily use sometimes, and I have owned things like the original Nokia 3310, I've owned the Nokia 105 from uh, 2017, I've owned the Nokia 106 from when they were part of Microsoft, RIP Nokia Microsoft Partnership. I've owned Nokia Lumias, and I've owned Nokia smartphones, and I can say that this is the best of this type of phone that I've ever used from Nokia, if that's anything to go by. And as it goes, I rate it a 7 out of 10. However, that is in its own separate, distinct simple phone category there. Obviously, it will be just be totally weird to compare this with smartphones. So yeah, 7 out of 10 when it comes to the phones of this class. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.